let us draw the lewis dot structure of xco f4 here xc is present in the center four fluorine atoms are present around xenon and one oxygen is at the top or bottom that you can decide a xenon is an inert gas or you can say noble gas it has eight electrons in its valence cell and its atomic number is 54 that you know so it has attained octet as it has vacant orbital it can form bonds that is separate issue we won't discuss over here each fluorine has seven valence electrons because its atomic number is 9 it has seven valence electrons 2 7 so each fluorine needs one electron to attain octet as they need one electron each fluorine will show one dot to xenon and other six dots will remain away from xenon as fluorine as one fluorine shows one electron to xenon so xenon will show one electron to fluorine i told if you will show me one finger i will show you one finger if you will show two fingers i will show you two fingers this is the trick so here each fluorine will show one finger sorry each fluorine will show one electron to xenon so also xenon will show one electron to each fluorine so four dots will be put before four fluorine atoms now another two dots will be shown to oxygen why because oxygen has six valence electrons it needs another two electrons to attain octet so it should show two electrons or two dots to xenon and xenon will show two dots or two electrons to oxygen so there will be a double bond you see now six electrons of xenon are used to form six bonds with four fluorine and one oxygen atom another pair of electrons will remain as a lone pair you see this is the lewis dot structure of xcu4 and the other four electrons of oxygen will remain away from xenon those uh, four electrons are treated as two lone pairs on oxygen now this is the lewis dot structure of xcu4 f is showing one electron to xenon and xenon is showing one electron to f this is the story of four fluorine atoms you just join those two dots you will get a single bond single dash similarly four single bonds will be there with oxygen you see oxygen will oxygen has shown two electrons to xenon and xenon has shown two electrons to oxygen so there will be a double bond now we will find the type of hybridization of xenon by using a trick you see number of sigma bonds formed by xenon is equal to 5 how with four fluorine four sigma bonds with one oxygen there are two bonds but one of them is sigma the other one is a pi bond pi bond is not included in hybridization pi bond is not included in hybridization and another one remain as lone pair so number of sigma bonds is equal to 5 pi bond is not included in the trick number of lone pairs is equal to 1 and xenon has not formed any coordinate bond over here so the trick is number of sigma bonds plus number of lone pairs plus number of coordinate bonds or dative bonds if it is equal to 2 then sp3 sp2 4 sp3 5 sp3 d 6 sp3 d2 here number of lone pairs is equal to 1 number of sigma bonds 5 number of coordinate bonds 0 so total number of pairs is equal to how much 5 plus total number of is equal to 4 plus 1 plus 1 lone pair is equal to 6 
so below 6 you write s p d from 6 s can take 1 because s has 1 orbital p can take maximum 3 here 6 means 6 minus 1 5 so 3 can be taken by p s p 3 now 3 plus 1 4 but we have taken 6 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 so d can take 2 so the type of hybridization of xenon will be sp3d2 sp3d2 thank you